Back in the 90s, <clears throat> when I was young, and uh, I don't know, I say maybe I was about eight years old or so, there was a movie, and this is an excellent piece of predictive programming, by the way. It almost lines up with Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, only it was an entertainment piece, and uh, now you have to remember at this time in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, Regular Nintendo was the thing to have, and I did, and I loved the Mario games, alright? And then when they had a Mario movie, I was all about it, and I watched it. And what was depicted in this movie that lines up with Aldous Huxley's Brave New World, <clears throat> and what lines up with the Ghost Cities I told you about, is this is one of the best predictive programming pieces on Ghost Cities I've ever seen in my life. Now... In this world, in Mario, it's like an empty desert the whole way around this mega city, alright? And inside the city, you had different castes of people living there. And by caste, I mean like the caste system, like in India, like C-A-S-T-E, the caste. You had lower level, uh, low brain power beings called uh, Gumbas or something like that, and... Bowser, their president, <laughs> their their dictator, was taking people and turning them into these things, these lizard things, these Gumbas. Well, basically, that is telling us what they're doing right now with the snake bite. They're going to transform people into human chimeras, or zombies, maybe both. Maybe even a lot of them will just drop out like flies. You know, there's pro there's different colored lids on them, so I'm sure the nanotech uh, correlating with the certain colors will do different things to different people. Now, hear me out, all right? I know it sounds strange, but that movie was really depicting all this quite accurately, actually, how it will look uh, in the end times. <laughs> you had these lower caste people, these these lizard things, these, these uh, gumbos or whatever they were, and then you had regular people, and then above that you had like the uh, you had like Bowser, who was like uh, himself like a lizard being of sorts, but he was higher intelligence, so he had all the benefits of transhumanism, while the rest of them were dumbed down slave laborers, and then above them you had the regular people. Well, when you have this thing going on called the snake bite. And then you have World War III that wipes out everything except the ghost cities. Voila, you have your end game. All right? <clears throat> You're going to have a cast, like in Brave New World, too. You're going to have a cast of lower intelligence beings, which are most of those that took the snake bite. Whoever survives the genocide portion of it, You're, they're going to be transformed into human chimera slaves. And then you're going to have a cast above them, which will be like regular people. Uh, with no benefits of anything, but they're not dumbed down quite, but they have this uh, mark in them still. Uh, and then you have a cast above them, which will be like the uber class, the oligarchy, which will get all the benefits of their transhumanist uh, uh, experimentations. So this is what the end game will look like. You'll have your ghost cities, which will become mega cities. You'll have people filtered through the camp systems. Uh, by their Palantir, and, you know, I'm sure the AI will sort everybody out uh, according to, you know, if they can be re-educated and marked and sent to a assigned housing in a ghost city, or if they're to be, uh, I guess you could say, eliminated on the spot, or if they're going to be sentenced to, like, slave labor, like in the old uh, 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 World War II Holocaust camps, the genocide camps, you know, you could have something like that. Um, and that's what I'm really seeing, you know. They didn't build all those Rex 84 camps for no reason. They didn't do that for no reason. Those things have been around since the 1980s. Uh, Rex 84, Cable Splicer, Garden Plot, that was the original program to establish these camps under FEMA control. There's about 800 plus of them just in this country alone. You see they're being used overseas too. They reopened Dachau in uh, Germany, the old Nazi camp, and they're housing uh, refugees from the Syrian civil war and other places there. So camps are most certainly going to be used <laughs> because we are already seeing it. You know, I mean, it's ridiculous down on the border, what they're doing. It's, it's horrendous. 
they're doing horrible things in those places. Like I told you before, the uterine, the tran, the, the the removals and things. You know, so they're doing organ harvesting in a way. So you know, think about all that. That's the end game. That is what's coming. So that is why we prep, pray, and we stay the hell out of the way. You know, make sure you can defend yourself because you have an absolute human right to self-defense. Don't ever be an aggressor, but defend yourselves. Protect your families protect your home protect your property and protect yourself you know <clears throat> so really that's all i have to say on this video i just wanted to remind everybody of the world that they're trying to build and it's right in front of our faces in a lot of predictive programming like brave new world and mario the movie <laughs> you know it's it's crazy but it's real i mean this is what's actually headed our way so may Yeshua bless and keep you all always